Capricorn Love Horoscope 2016. None of your social houses is especially active this year, showing a lack of interest in social issues. The cosmos does not push you one way or the other. You have freedom to shape your social life as you see fit. The tendency will be towards the status quo. Marrieds will remain married. Singles will remain single. Of course you will have a social life this year. But this will be determined by the movements of the short-term planets through your various social houses during the year. These will be short-term trends. Read the month-by-month -month forecasts for more details. The Moon is your love planet. Its movements and aspects reveal your day-to-day -day love attitudes and social urges. In general, your social magnetism is stronger when the moon waxes than when it wanes. Of course the daily aspects of the other planets play a large role, but given equivalent aspects, your social grace and magnetism will be stronger during the waxing moon. Thus you can schedule important social events accordingly. There will be two lunar eclipses this year, one on 31st January and the other on 28th July. These will have an impact on your marriage and social life, bringing up hidden flaws and or resentment so that they can be dealt with. These are periods for clearing the air. Stay calm. When the dust settles you'll know what should be corrected and will act accordingly. Saturn, your ruling planet will move into your fifth house of children, fun, games, creativity, speculations and love affairs on 1st March. Jupiter moves into the fifth on 28th June. This signals a two to two and a half year party period. Many romantic opportunities will come. There is an interest in playing the field and a desire not to commit. Mary Eads will also have romantic opportunities outside the marriage, but of course they have free will to take them up or not. The cosmos is not forcing infidelity.